Hi everyone, this week I'm doing a plan with me for August 28th through Sunday, um, the September 3rd, uh, starting off a new month. I'm going to use a um, all the Happy Planner stickers that I have, and I have them organized on some cardstock with some extra large um, Happy Planner rings or clip, you know, those little rings that you can clip them in. So I took out some bits and pieces that I wanted to use, plus these blue um, ones that I wanted to um, add in a little bit because they matched some of the blue accents on the um, Happy Planner stickers. And then I was thinking of using these washi tapes, but I actually end up using um, some different ones. I do end up using that little pink one, but um, I actually end up using something else. I didn't like the washi too much. I didn't think the pink really matched too well, but you know, you win some, you lose some, <laughs> whatever. But you know, I, I enjoy using the Happy Planner kit, um, especially for weeks that I don't really have any kits left or I have kits that I'm saving for certain weeks. Um, so, and that was kind of what was happening this week. I didn't have any kits, um, and I don't buy a ton of kits. Um, I don't have them stockpiled, so I like to save them for certain weeks. So right now I have a bunch of fall kits, um, that I don't want to use yet. So, um, and I am working on a Sticky Fox fall kit and um, so I'm hoping to have that out. It may be a fall kit, it may end up being a Halloween kit, I haven't decided yet. Um, I've got the color scheme and I've just been doodling and um, transferring some of that to the computer, so look out for that. I also have a Halloween countdown that is coming out soon, so um, that should probably be available pretty soon here. Um, probably by the end of this weekend, by the time when you're seeing this, because um, I've been editing my Plan With Me's a little bit late, I've been sick, and we've been also getting the house ready. Um, we've had our inspection, which came out wonderful, I'm so excited, um, and then we have our appraisal, we're just waiting on that number, and then, um, so kind of waiting for those things to pass before we really start packing, and then we'll start packing, and then Oh my goodness, everything is just going to go crazy fast. Um, so yeah, um, I'm just pulling out some of the things that I want to use on the sidebar. And I've got some glitter headers. I bought a glitter header set just for this purpose because I knew I don't use glitter headers as, like most people do. I don't put them on every single day. I use them kind of as like little bits of accents when I need them. Um, so it helps stretch them out. I um, had these glitter flags also from Scroll Prince Co. and that's actually from um, a Misfits. I got a Misfits grab bag so um, they don't seem that bad to me. Some of them are a little sticky and some of the cut lines aren't perfect so obviously that's why they're Misfits but, but yeah. So I end up using um, different Today headers at the top, and I am going to, these Scribble Prints Ombre Heart Checklists are also from that Misfits bag. Um, so if you're looking to build your stash and not wanting to spend a ton of money, um, I think the Scribble Prints um, Misfits bags really have a lot of functional items that you can use with Happy Planner stickers or add to um, you know, different spreads that aren't necessarily a kit, which is what I planned on using them for. Um, so I, I actually might buy a couple more just because I feel like they help build your stash a little bit. So they're pretty awesome. Um, now I'm just putting down my calls for that Monday. And then um, I wanted to do a to-do list. I end up changing this out. I put down glitter headers and then I put down this to do. It looked cute but I think the white space around the letters was just too much and then the glitter header was just too much. It was just too much pink. So 
I end up changing that out for something else and you'll see that a little bit later. Um, I use one of those um, checklists from the Happy Planner and they have plenty of checklists, um, check marks for, for all the things that I need to do in the day, which I really liked. Um, and then I was thinking of using this leftovers from a previous week, um, that little checklist, but I didn't like it. It didn't really match as well with the colors. Um, this little um, little things kit thing was also in the Misfits from School of Prince Co. So that's where a lot of these things are from. So I'm just setting those down because they are pretty um, a subtle beige that matched bits and pieces from the rest of the kit. So those worked perfectly to mark down my meals. Then I had a dentist appointment um, and I was trying to figure out how I wanted to mark that. So I actually end up using the, um, some of this uh, rose gold foiled washi. And I use that as a little bit of decorative background. And then there's that little, uh, what is it? Like quarter box, quarter box sized box from the uh, Misfits that have the glitter um, flags that I used at the top. And I used that to mark for my dentist appointment. I didn't have any tooth stickers, so I just used a star. Um, and then I just write down dentist stuff. <laughs> Now on the sidebar, um, I end up, um, I was thinking of using that washi, but I end up not using that washi. Um, I found that I wanted to use this wood grain. Um, I start off using this pink stuff, but it was just too, it was too much. So I end up actually changing that out later. Um, but I have been enjoying marking down top things that I've done that week. Um, so just kind of like a memory side helps me remember when things were done or just important things that I want to remember, important memories, stuff like that. Um, I found that I've really been able to look back. It's actually come in quite, come up quite handy in the past, especially because I've started journaling every single day. Um, so, and then some, day, some days I accidentally skip it and I have to look back and I think, oh gosh, what did I do that day? So it was just kind of like a, oh yeah, that's what we did. Um, then I mar used a habit tracker from Scribble Prince Co. that I had purchased and then also a hydrate tracker from Coffee Monsters Co. And I used that as a weekly, um, daily tracker rather than actual... Um, daily using that every day if you'd have to buy so many of those sheets if you wanted to because you'd be done with one week if you use them every day um, so I wanted to stretch them out and really be able to use them every week rather than buying a bunch of stickers um, so there's that wood grain that I actually cut off because I wanted to use some sort of little quote on the bottom and um, so that those extra pieces of wood grain stickers that I cut off before I actually go back and change that noted section on the left side. Now I'm using um, another header. I actually changed out that today header as well because there were only two today headers in that little happy planner thing and I didn't want it to say today, today, and then the rest of the week be different. So I actually changed those out so they're kind of dispersed rather than right after each other. You'll see that later. So I'm just writing down some of my calls for that Tuesday and then I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to use what headers I'll use because again there's only a couple to-do headers um, and I didn't want to use the bulky um, to-do twice in a row and I actually take that first to-do off anyways and I use a different one later in the week.
Here's the part where I'm changing that glitter. I just think the pink and the glitter um, is just too much. So I just leave one because I was struggling getting both of them up. So I actually use, um, take one up and then put a to-do header up top. And then um, I wanted to mark down another to-do list for Tuesday. I've really been enjoying using to-do lists every single day. I don't write them on screen because I mark my to-dos throughout the day, things that I need to remember to do. Usually they're um, tasks that I write down during calls um, that I don't want to forget because um, I can't do them right at that moment. Or they're things that are longer and take a longer period of time and usually take me the week, that work week, to complete. So now I'm adding in my gym sticker. I actually didn't go to the gym on Tuesday. Um, just wasn't feeling it, you know what I mean? And lately that's just kind of been a trend. I feel like I'm in a little bit of a rut, um, which I really wanna get out of and get back into being motivated. Um, so I joined another challenge, which I'm pretty excited about. My husband's also joining it with me so it'll be kind of a, a team effort and we're actually on teams so if you don't do your workout <laughs> you know you're you're gonna let other people down so that's um i think that's a really good way to get us motivated and get back into shape um i'm not not that i'm out of shape um i've been getting into shape but but yeah so so far I've lost 10 pounds, which I'm super proud of myself. I've been super dedicated and don't want to fall into a huge rut and then not be able to get back into it. Um, so these long stickers from the Scrub Burn Co. are actually meant for the monthly spreads, um, but they the colors actually worked perfectly for the spread, so I ended up just using those and then cutting off the little extra pieces. I um, added a Once More With Love gym sticker for Wednesday and I have to order some more of those. I actually did order them, um, some more gym stickers and I bought two of them this time so I don't run out. Um, so I can't wait to get those in the mail. Those will be coming soon. This day I wanted to do, I added my today or my to-do list look closer to the bottom because I like the flow of having it not all being on the same level every single day. It just kind of balances the spreads out. Um, plus I had, um, I used this Happy Planner full box and I cut it up to break up the space up at the top. And then I end up adding a flag and an important banner in that space later on because our inspection was scheduled that day. So there wasn't very much deco, so I end up you wanted I wanted to use this and symbol, and it just felt too loud. So this is where I change out for the wood grain background and then I use that noted sticker again um, on the wood grain and then I add a little red heart on the side just for a little bit of interest and then moving on to the next few next the second half of the week um, I wanted to use this life is lovely instead of a weekend banner um, and here I am just erasing sometimes when I have my planner on my desk my desk is like a black brown from um, Ikea so it does pick up a little bit of like dust and things because I I don't know it just it just does so sometimes I have to erase there's like little smudges sometimes um, lots of like pencil marks and things on the desk because I draw and doodle and things on like that on the desk um, so now I'm just adding in my gym info for Thursday and using that same technique with the monthly um, appointment quarter box things and cutting off the extra bits 
and then putting on a sticky fox workout fox and then a uh, once more with love sticker for for working out on Friday and pretty proud of myself that week this week I went three times so um, Tuesday was the only day where I didn't get to it um, so now we've jumped this is actually Thursday um, so jumped in and I'm adding in my calls for the morning and then um, I had quite a few so I had to cut up another one and add an extra heart to make that an extra long list for calls. On Friday, I use a remember banner and a remember header instead of a today because I didn't have any left. And then I just marked down um, for my other call. I messed up on one of the times for um, the call on Thursday, but those stickers are from Scribble Prince Co. So they are extremely hard to get up, especially if you don't own Undo, and I don't. So um, I ended up. Just leaving it. Um, I actually go back and use some whiteout to fix it later after I film this video, but it was fine for now. Then I added in a to-do list, um, but I had to mark in, um, you'll see on the left, you can see the 9 a.m. inspection, important. I had added that in. Um, so Right above there, after the inspection, they had also needed to do a sewer inspection because we have a giant tree in the front of the house. Um, so, and plus of the age of the, our house, it's kind of common for them to do an additional inspection. Everything came out good, so no worries there. That's where um, I also under there I use that um, gold, it's like rose gold foil to do header thing on top of the extra pit, bit of um, the wood grain sticker full box. Then on Friday I do a to-do's plan, today's plans, not to-do's plans, today's plans, um, and then I wanted to use this beautiful um, rose gold foiled um, quote box, don't quit your daydream. I just thought it was beautiful. I liked the design of it, so I wanted to add that on Saturday. And then on Sunday, I wanted to add in that sticker that says plans, and then um, actually add in those things afterwards just so I can mark my memories and things that we did for that weekend. And then I added this Erin sticker from the Happy Planner sticker book and a short to-do list, um, put together a short to-do list with those Scribble Prints Co. Ombre Heart Checklist that had like that little gold glitter accent. And then I wanted to mark down that this was gonna be a three-day weekend, so I used that little heart sticker that's from the Happy Planner, and then I had that um, extra bit of full box left, and that's a planner, Sticky Fox. And I also add in that I have a hair appointment on Friday, but I think I do that off screen. I can't remember. But this is the full spread. Thank you for joining me this week. I really enjoy doing these No Etsy kits and these plan with me's. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed them as well. And I will see you soon. Bye.